Good morning, students and staff. Can you all hear me? Yes. Good yeah. morning. Staff? Okay. Thank you for joining us. This year, we've been learning about the many people who impacted the world. We as students are encouraged to stand up for what we believe in, whether it be politics or better school lunches. When I was younger, I read about Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech, I Have a Dream. As a child and easily impressed upon, I wanted to do the same thing. I wanted to impact the world, and I still do. Yet, I realized one thing, one crucial element to being able to, being able to do anything, you need to believe in yourself. I know, I know, crazy, right? But no, it's not. If you think about it, there will always be people who go against you. There will always be people who have a different opinion than you, and there's nothing you can really do about that. But for all those people, there will be more people who would support you, who would follow you to the end of the earth if you ask them to. They will be there to steady your hand, but they can't drag it across the paper. You need to believe in yourself, and you can't do it if you don't. You need to learn to believe in yourself first in order for the world to believe in you. Believe in yourself. Such an interesting thought. We spend much of our teenage life trying to get society to accept us. Feeling accepted leads to higher self-esteem and confidence. How can people believe in us if they don't accept us? We do things we might not have otherwise done just to get people to like us. We want to be part of the group because they're the cool kids, but we don't realize that they most likely feel the same way we do. So why then? Is it so hard to believe in yourself? It is so easy to tell someone else, you look great, or you're so cool. But why is it so hard then to say this to yourself? Why can't we treat others like we treat, why can't we treat ourselves like we treat others? This is a question that I've been asking myself for years. The truth is, when people critique us and pick us apart, we assume that they're doing it to make us a better person or just because they're mean. So we brush it off. Although, when we say the same things to ourselves, we crumple. Why? Because if we say these things to ourselves, then we truly and utterly believe them. We remember every time that someone has said something bad about us and we're pulled down by it. These words resonate with us until we forget them or we learn to move on. That's why it is so hard to treat ourselves like we treat others. I can't pretend to be an expert on this because I don't have a degree in psychology or people studies yet, but I do know from experience that in order for people to believe in you, for people to take you seriously, you need to believe in yourself. We have been taught by society that it's a bad thing to be too confident. It, might, it may not be directly, but the message is there. If we are too confident, especially as teens, we, were, we are labeled as overly cocky, arrogant, and pretentious. So here it comes again. With belief comes confidence. Those people who say this are just jealous of your confidence. They're just jealous of your potential. If you believe in yourself, they will believe in you. If you believe, you can do anything you can put your, if you can put your mind to it. However, such things take time. Most people don't wake up one morning and paint like Van Gogh or Frida Kahlo. It takes time and effort as well as dedication. But most important of all, determination. We can manifest our future, hopefully unlike we manifested our destiny, because that didn't turn out so well, if we just want it bad enough. In the end, looking back at your middle school years, you won't remember what shirt you wore, what your hair looked like, or how many followers you had on Instagram. But what you will remember is what you learned, who you met, and what you did with this knowledge. By what you did with this knowledge and what you learned, I don't mean knowing how to figure out the square root of seven. I mean, how you learn to work with people, how to problem solve, how to get yourself out of a difficult situation, how to deal with these difficult situations. These are skills that you will possess for the rest of your life. Most importantly is what you did with it. What you do now affects your future. Your actions reflect your aspirations and your dreams. What you do now will either materialize your dreams or create new ones. It's up to you. Thank you.